Hello friends, let's see the anatomy of inferior vena cava which is one of the great vessel of the posterior abdominal wall. This inferior vena cava drains the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body below the diaphragm muscle and in the fetal life this inferior vena cava carries mixed blood while in case of the adult life this inferior vena cava is going to carry the deoxygenated blood. When we see the course of the inferior vena cava it is going to be formed by the union of the right and left common iliac veins at the level of the L5 vertebrae about 2.5 cm right to the median plan. It passes upward in front of the vertebral column and on the right side of the abdominal aorta. On reaching the lever, it is going to passes behind the lever and lodges in the groove for the inferior vena cava on the right lobe of the lever and then it is going to pass through the opening of the diaphragm at the lower border of the T8 level and then it reaches up to the thorax and within the thorax it is going to pierce this fibrous pericardium and enters into the right atrium at the level of the right sixth costosternal joint. At this level the atrial opening of the inferior vena cava it has one rudimentary valve within it in the adult life and this valve in the fetal life is responsible for the regulation of the blood flow from the inferior vena cava to the right atrium and from the right atrium to the left atrium via foramen ovale. But in case of the adult this valve becomes rudimentary and this is the only valve which is present within the inferior vena cava while in the adult life no any other valve is present other than this rudimentary valve. And this rudimentary valve in the adult life it is called as the estetian valve. When we see the measurement of the inferior vena cava, it is around 20 to 23 centimeters in length and 2.5 centimeters in breadth. As we know that inferior vena cava, it extends from the L5 level from its commencement to the T8 level at its ending. We can say that there are five lumbar vertebrae and the five thoracic vertebrae are there. So there are 10 vertebral length of the inferior vena cava and each vertebral length when we assume it is around 2 cm. So this length of the inferior vena cava it is around 20 cm. So the length of the inferior vena cava it is 20 cm. When we see the topography of the inferior vena cava this vena cava is represented by the two parallel vertical lines 2.5 cm apart and the center of this line corresponds below to the point 2.5 cm to the right of the median plan as we already discussed on the transtubercular plan. So this L5 level it is also a transtubercular plan and above to a point on the right sixth costosternal joint. Now let's see the relation of the inferior vena cava in the same figure but in the another slide. When we see the relations of the inferior vena cava in the abdomen in the front from above downward this inferior vena cava it is related anteriorly by this lever then the epiploic foramina is situated and this epiploic foramina it is situated between the inferior vena cava behind and the free margin of the lesser omentum in front. So here at some level the epiploic foramina lies just below it we find the first part of this duodenum which is separated from the inferior vena cava by this portal vein bile duct and the gastroduodenal artery. Then the anterior relation of the inferior vena cava it is the head of the pancreas which is somewhere present here within the concavity of the duodenum. Just below it it is related anteriorly to the third part of the duodenum. Then we can appreciate this right 
gonadal vessels which are also passes in front of the inferior vena cava just below it we can appreciate this structure and this is the root of the mesentery which is also passes in front of the inferior vena cava and just below the root of the mesentery we can appreciate this vessel and this is the right common iliac artery which is also passes in front of the inferior vena cava just at its commencement so all these are the anterior relations of the inferior vena cava in the abdomen when we see the posterior relation of the inferior vena cava we can appreciate that the bodies of the lower lumbar vertebrae they are present posterior to the inferior vena cava along with the anterior longitudinal ligament this right shows major muscle it is also situated posterior to the inferior vena cava along with that it also concerned with the right sympathetic trunk which is also present on the posterior side of the inferior vena cava and the lumbar vertebrae and the third and the fourth right lumbar arteries they are also passes posterior to the inferior vena cava but in the upper part of the inferior vena cava we can appreciate that this inferior vena cava it is related posteriorly to the right crush of the diaphragm muscle and the right cilia ganglion along with the part of the right suprarenal gland and the right renal right suprarenal and the inferior phrenic arteries so all the lateral branches of the abdominal aorta they are mostly passes behind the inferior vena cava except this right gonadal vessels which are passes in front of the inferior vena cava so this is a very good point to be noted when we see the right relation of the inferior vena cava we can appreciate that this inferior vena cava it is related on the right side by this ureter this yellow structure in this figure this is the right ureter it is also concerned with the second part of the duodenum along with the medial border of the right kidney it is also related with the bare area of the liver which is present somewhere here on the back of the liver when we see the left relation of the inferior vena cava we can say that the first and most important structure that is the abdominal aorta and along with that it is also concerned with the right crush of the diaphragm so the point to be noted is that the right crush of the diaphragm which is present left to the inferior vena cava and along with that the omental bursa that is the lesser sac it is also present left to the inferior vena cava and the caudate lobe of the liver which is also present left to the inferior vena cava in the thorax this inferior vena cava it is related to the right phrenic nerve on the right side along with the pericardio phrenic vessels of the right side so all these are the relations of the inferior vena cava now let's see the tributaries of the inferior vena cava the formative tributaries of the inferior vena cava are the right and left common iliac veins the third and the fourth lumbar vein they are the direct tributaries of the inferior vena cava while the second and the first lumbar vein they are going to fuse to form the ascending lumbar vein which are going to drain indirectly into inferior vena cava from the upper part this inferior vena cava having the two phrenic veins as their tributaries and the renal vein right and the left renal veins they are also the tributaries of the inferior vena cava the right renal vein it is little bit smaller than that of the left renal vein as the inferior vena cava it is situated on the right side one right gonadal vein which is going to become the tributary of the inferior vena cava while the left gonadal vein which is going to drain into the left renal vein 
and the right suprarenal vein which is also the tributary of the inferior vena cava while the left suprarenal vein which is going to drain into left renal vein and the right and the left hepatic veins they are also the tributaries of the inferior vena cava when it passes through the groove for the inferior vena cava behind the right lobe of the liver so all these are the tributaries of the inferior vena cava so this is all about the anatomy of the inferior vena cava hope you understand well thanks for watching